was on lockdown for about three hours on Thursday afternoon, poor general manager Mary Torres. Essentially there was a security breach and so the port police did what they would do in situations like that, which is, is essentially lock off access for people entering and exiting and vehicles entering and exiting the uh, secured area of the yard. KUAM has learned that the lockdown occurred after a port employee was found in possession of crystal methamphetamine in a restricted area. Transportation Committee Oversight Chair Senator Tom Adams says the lockdown highlights concerns that were brought up during a recent oversight hearing with the port. During that hearing, it was revealed that there was three port employees who have jobs that require them to have TWIC transportation worker identification credential cards, but the employees haven't gotten them yet. We cannot be taking any chances of any kind of disruption because we have people who have questionable backgrounds and may have other intents, uh, uh, purposes uh, on that terminal other than to see to it that cargo is moved through. KUM has confirmed that 51-year-old Eddie Cruz Titano was arrested on Thursday for illegal possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. According to the port's staffing pattern, Titano is a planner worker coordinator in the port's terminal division. Torres would not confirm the information or the arrest. We uh, have an investigation under, under, uh, undergoing and it, because it also involves personnel matters, um, I am limited in what I can comment, but uh, I will have to just leave it at that. That investigation is supposed to include how Titano was able to gain access to the restricted area and what he was doing there. Meanwhile, Torres confirms that she is still conducting her own inquiry into other port employees who were recently hired but have not yet received their TWIC cards. That includes the hiring of a convicted felon, John Troy Santos. According to news files, Santos, a former firefighter, pleaded guilty to possession of the drug ICE and spent seven years in federal prison. The fact that he still hasn't gotten his security clearance um, kind of makes you wonder if there's anything else in there. Uh, nonetheless, um, I've, I've been assured by the port that they are looking into this. All matters have to go through the process and so what I, what I have to do as a, a manager is ensure that the processes are in fact adhered to and that all rights and considerations are given to the employees. So, you know, we do, we have to follow things and uh, complete things as required per our personal rules and regs. Mm -hmm. um, and and that's, what, that's what I'm doing. Senator Adam, meanwhile, believes Thursday's lockdown and the hiring of Santos is just further proof that there is a serious need for more scrutiny of the port's hiring practices. This is another incident that confirms uh, a port employee in the possession of drugs, uh, the port hiring individuals who have had uh, history uh, associated with drugs. Uh, so I think it begs the question of how, um, how, how well has the port been carrying out its drug testing program, if it has. We should note in 2010, two port employees tested positive for using illicit drugs. Meantime, Titano will be magistrated in the Superior Court tomorrow.